Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za We are at the Emerging Market Summit at the Wanderers Club in Santon. Now this summit focuses on unlocking the investment and economic development potential of Africa. Now we had the chance to sit down with Alon Litz from Uber. Now before we do that, let's take a look at how Uber has grown in Africa. There's huge demand from the driver partner side. Obviously, um, and employment unfortunately a reality across the continent and we're seeing huge demand from driver partners who are looking to partner with Uber as a technology platform to grow and scale their own businesses as, as entrepreneurs. There are over um, 10,000 driver partners on the platform. We do invest heavily into markets to get growth and to get attract drivers and riders onto the platform. Hopefully most of you when you've taken your first ride it's been a free one uh, because we want to ensure that someone experiences the platform and experience that on us and then if you like it then you'll continue to use it uh, but we do in invest heavily a place like nigeria is another good example where i know a lot of companies are maybe pulling back or feeling nervous last week or over the last 11 days in nigeria we offered 50 percent discount off all trips across lagos and that's obviously a substantial investment um, because we see long-term growth yes it is a tricky place to do business. Yes, it's, it, it's extremely challenging at the moment. No one's quite sure where the currency is gonna land. No one's quite sure what it means to move money out of the country in the long term. If you look at a lot of the, the airline carriers, they're reducing the number of flights into these countries, but we're actually increasing investment. Again, if we look at June of this year, we launched three cities, three new countries within three weeks and we do have plans to expand into further countries early next year. Please tell us more about your presentation this morning. So I was here today just to give everyone some insight into Uber's story, where we started back in San Francisco about six years ago, uh, when we launched in Africa, Johannesburg being our first African city about three and a bit years ago, and the growth that we've experienced thus far in the world and in South Africa and in Sub-Saharan Africa in general. I also spoke a bit about the future from an Uber perspective and what we're looking at from a disruption perspective. And tell us more about the growth. I know Uber has introduced so many um, since its inception, obviously. I know we have Uber Eats now. We don't have Uber Rush yet, but I know Uber has grown so much in the African continent um, over the years. Tell us more about the, strat the strategies that you guys used, you know? Yeah, so we're now in 12 different cities across across the continent and six different countries. So that's something which we're really proud of. Um, we see Sub-Saharan Africa, we see sub, uh, South Africa as an exceptionally exciting place to be doing business. To give you a sense for some of that growth, in 2014 in South Africa, there were one million trips booked on the platform in the whole year. In the first half of 2015, we already saw two million trips booked in just the first six months of the year. So we really, we've been lucky enough to experience this exponential growth where across the continent, and that's not unique to South Africa, it's something which we've seen in Kenya, something which we've seen in Nigeria. Um, if we had to take all the trips booked on the African continent and map, I guess, to Cairo and back, would be over a thousand trips between Johannesburg and Cairo booked on the platform. And South Africa participates in, in many of these committees and adheres to many of the principles and standards of the OECD, even though it's not a full-fledged member. And um, in Africa, we only have uh, two countries, uh, South Africa and Morocco, 
and uh, we are, uh, it's, a, it's an objective of, of, of the current Secretary General to strengthen partnership with, with Africa and get uh, more participation with Africa. If we want to be a global institution, we really need global practices and learning from all over the world. So we are very much uh, looking to, to deepen our, our relationship with Africa. The Emerging Market Summit was established last year, actually. This year is our second year that we are doing the, uh, we are doing this event. It actually came out because when we started the, the event a section of Global Invest Group, we started with enterprise development. We were just interested in making sure that the small business grow to become big organizations. But during the, with the discussions that we're having at all these conferences, we found out that the key to unlock the challenges that small businesses face is actually the governments and the big corporates. But then if you say it's a small business expo and you want the big guys to come, they wouldn't be able to come. So we decided to uh, form another conference which will ensure that big guys come, discuss policy issues, discuss uh, economic growth issues at a higher perspective so that all those who spill over to actually uh, the development aspect of Africa. From Social TV, I'm Libby Rawood.